welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna bring you guys along for a night in my life. I'm so excited because it's actually my parents' anniversary. They've been married for 30 years and we're doing white strips because they so graciously invited little of me to their, I almost said graduation, hi, <laughs> to their anniversary dinner. Like how could they ever? And you know, I kept like kind of asking like, And nobody was really giving me that reassurance of like, yeah, we really want you to go. They were kind of just like, okay, well, we already like kind of confirmed the reservation. So I'll, we'll get fine if you don't go. But no one really ever gave me that reassurance, which is fine. But you know, just something I was looking for. I haven't like my teeth in too long. Actually, my teeth are bright yellow. I'm gonna start off this video by showing you guys a haul because in my last video, I'm also feeling very not confident today, but in my last video, I was like, I got so many amazing things. I'm gonna show you and I never showed you. I'm gonna start with what I was originally talking about in the last video. You're gonna have to ignore the list, but like it's totally fine. This shirt, it opens at the bottom. I might wear it tonight, TVA. These pants, which are like boxer pants type things. My favorite two things, save the best for last. This cable knit sweater, I've already worn it. It's so nice. Actually, I wore that in the last video, so you saw it if you watched. This skirt, I love it. I also would probably wear it as a shirt. I'm actually obsessed with this skirt. I can't wait to wear it. I'll probably wear it every day of my life. I even like the way it looks with the navy sweater. I love, I just love sparkly things. The sweater is super easy to wear. The skirt is so fun for around the holidays, for going out in the fall. I love it. I can't believe that they sent this to me. What did I do to deserve? This is gonna piss me off, should I take these out? The show must go on. Then, today, all of a sudden, my mom's like, you should try these on. Leather shorts. We're kidding, like I wanna wear these tonight. Would these be cute with this or no? Um, It's not looking like, honestly, are these green or brown? I don't know. This is stunning. It's like, velvet-y and it's green. I don't have anything green, except it looks like these shorts are green. Wait, low key, what if I wore this as a set tonight? Is that insane? Kind of match. Isn't terrible, but I'm definitely not gonna wear it. Let's leave it at that. Not the worst thing that I've ever seen in my life, but definitely not one of the best, you know? This skirt, it's like a slip skirt. It's the detailing on the bottom. <gasps> I love it. I'm getting nervous that these shorts might be too hard to style. Kind of like a weird, not weird, but they're like a hard color. Are they green? Are they brown? Like, I don't know. My mom convinced me that this is cute. I think I'm actually gonna wear it tonight because it's that cute. Like, it's that cute. Either wear the outfit I just had on or this. I still have my white in, obviously, but I'm so excited. I'm about to go in the shower to use these new products because I kind of never really bought myself new shower products except for like shampoo. I never really branch out, you know? So Luna, this brand sent me like a ton of stuff, way too much stuff. Like it's so much, it's insane. And today in the shower, I'm gonna use the Everywhere Exfoliator and the Everywhere Wash. They just seem really luxe. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'm gonna shower and I'll talk to you after. so insecure about my face today, so I'm whipping out this bad guy. It gets hot, so it feels really good. I don't have like a routine or anything, I just do it. I like that I'm doing this before I do a slick back because then my jawline will be so snatched, like actually so incredibly snatched. It's gonna be insane, you're not even gonna recognize me. I love doing it on my forehead because I feel like it's making my wrinkles go away even though it's not. I have such, like, ooh, excuse us. I have a very wrinkly forehead. I don't have too much time to get ready, but the outfit's on, and I'm gonna do my slick back tutorial. I have kind of perfected it for myself, how I like it to look, and I'm such a perfectionist. So the key first step is you wanna section off, don't mind my shirt, a top two pieces, just so that this is what makes it look Perfect when you get to do these two pieces last. Okay, <laughs> it's gonna look crazy, but don't worry. I don't have my good hairspray right now, which would just be like a regular spray, but this is like a wet spray kind of thing. I love the Tresemme, wait. Yeah, I love the Tresemme. This is what I usually use, but it's just completely empty. Let's see if any will come out. Okay, now we spray. Just get it nice and wet, brush it again. I cannot take myself seriously with this hair, but then I have another hairspray. 
that I love to use. It's a gel actually. So then I'll just do some of that and just rub it through. Really focus on getting the bottom parts because that's what always ends up flying up and then I'll spray it again. Now we're ready to rumble. We can start brushing. I use this brush from Dry Bar. It really smooths everything out, which I love. I like to brush like kind of upward like this. And I like to make it pretty high. Now that my hair's a little longer and it actually fits, I like to do it high. I am afraid of my hair ties today. They're like jelly scaries, but we're gonna go for it. It doesn't have to be insanely perfect just because once we do top pieces, we kind of like go over it again. Ow! And tighten it so it's super duper tight. Finally, we can stop looking like a crazy person. I'm gonna brush these out and then spray. Do some gel. The crazy part is I'm gonna tease it. Never really have teased my hair before at all. So we'll see how this goes. This shirt is like literally the worst shirt to be doing this in. Spray it again. You're literally gonna place it exactly where you want it. And I like to make a, this type of motion, like whoosh, so that it's pulled back like that, if that makes sense. Like just like whoosh, towards my ear and then swirl over. That's just what I like on myself, but I like it to look a little bit raised, which is why I tried to tease it, but it's really hard for me to get it raised. Final, final step. Spray everywhere, even the bottom again. This is running out too, people. And get your hair tie prepared. Make sure it's perfect in your opinion. And then I even will brush under it because we're gonna do a completely new hair tie. And then the way I like my buns is I just wrap it and then pull it around and then just secure it three times. And then I finish off with the gel again. I cannot believe I wore this shirt and thought it would be good to do this slick back tutorial. Make sure you get the front hairs here because that's what always pisses me off when it's not sticking. Get under it as well just so that everything can be nice and slick. And I like to do my hair before I do my makeup just so then it's one less thing to worry about. And then I'll come in with my brush and brush it just one more time. So it's perfect. This is the finished look. And now I'm gonna do my makeup. I literally have no time. The reservation's at 7.30, it's 7.06. Let's see if I can be ready by 7.15 cause that's when they wanna leave. My parents tried to prank me and be like, oh yeah, the reservation's at seven. So we have to leave at 6.45. And then I heard them in the kitchen being like, no, it's actually at 7.30. We're just telling her it's at seven. Rude. Honestly, that's like the right call because I'm so slow. Yep, I'll show you the final in the mirror, but I always bring the hairspray and the hairspray, both. I always bring both hairsprays with me, just in case, like if something flies away during it. So cute, and I'm not even that late. Let's go boys. To dinner we go, I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. Hi anniversary girl. Hi, wait, we're going in already without him? We're at Pascal and Sabine. For the anniversary girl, they were so kind to invite me to this night. Like I literally had no idea that I was getting invited. I'm just so honored and blessed. What would you say is one piece of advice for being married for 30 years? Do you have any advice for us? Or I don't know why this won't focus. Marry <laughs> your best friend. Oh, that's so sweet. Here's the outfit in all its glory. So cute. I actually love it. I'm really happy that I kept the shorts because they're adorable and they're gonna be so cute with them. I'm also so excited because I'm starving. I'm literally starving, so. I'll try espresso martini. It tastes like pumpkin. Mm. And I was feeling tired too. Escarguno. Haven. Mm. Best thing to hit the table. I'm gonna say it. What is it again? 
Chicken liver mousse. Chicken liver mousse. So good. Yeah. I love it. She's gonna want more. Wash it down with the Pickle? Yeah. It tastes like cheese. Yeah. Dinner was so good. Front or dad? Whoever. And now I'm gonna drive home because I'm responsible. Oomph, oomph. Is he in the back? Wait, he's in the back. Hey, how y'all doing? We're back from dinner. My comfy cozies are back on. I'm wearing this navy. Looks like a set, but it's just not. This is from my girl, Kirsten. And then the sweats are organic basics. They're so comfy, and I love looking like I'm in a set because then I feel like I put together queen. Get a load of this one. I'm gonna put this, ooh, wow, that could've been crazy. This maracuja oil. You can put it on like anything, I'm pretty sure. Like face, I actually have no idea. I think you could do like face, hair. I'm gonna do a little bit of my hair just so I feel like a put together girl, just on the bottom. Because like, honestly, I've been looking at my hair and whenever I do like ponytails now, like here and here is balding. Not even kidding. You can't see now, but like it is like, what's the word when it's like patchy kind of? It's not good. So I'm actually gonna do a little bit. Should I do, is, I wonder if it's like really good for your, if it, I don't even know if it's for your hair to be honest. But I'm gonna do, I guess a little bit too, just like running through here. I really wanna take off my makeup and be done. Someone's using the bathroom that has the makeup wipes. I hate taking my makeup off cause it never comes off. The dinner was so good and I'm honestly, I thought I was super full and like I am full, but I'm not like dying full where I'm like about to throw up. So that's good. Happy is the heart. I was gonna make a tea just to show you guys something, but every time I turn around, it's 11.55. Hi, let's focus, please. Every time I turn around, it's 11.55 and it's honestly so annoying because I keep saying every night, no, every morning when I wake up, I'm like, I have to go to bed earlier because every single time I wake up, I'm exhausted. No matter how long I sleep, I'm literally exhausted. So every time I'm like, I, I need to go to sleep earlier. And then I see the clock's 11 o'clock and I'm like, okay, 11.30, I go up. Look again, it's 11.53. I really want to start like actually having a morning routine and actually waking up at a certain time and like just making a purpose in my morning. And I'm so excited because tomorrow... I'm doing, I'm doing a collab with someone and it's close. I don't know if I can even say like what's going on, but like I'm doing, I'm, by the time this comes out probably, I'm doing a collab with someone and it's close and she's sending it to me. Oh wait, I think I already told you guys this actually, but she's sending it to me tomorrow, she said. So I'm so excited to see it. I, ho I mean like the girl that I'm doing it with is so talented and so I know that it's gonna be amazing, but I'm just so excited to see it. I love clothes, I love fashion, I love all of those things. So the fact that I like was able to design something oh, and people could buy it, like that's insane. I wanna have a clothing line. That's crazy and yeah, I'm excited for where my life is going. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of this video. I'm gonna brush my teeth. Happy, I'll do my skincare. I love this Lancome stuff wait where's the label toner that i it's like really thick when it comes out but that's i think what i like about it ready look it's like milky honestly reminds me of the road glazing milk is that what it's called i don't have that i never had that but i like toning my face because it feels like it might be dirty if i don't whenever i do a slick back i always have to clean the back of my ears because they get like dirty with hairspray it's actually disgusting for skincare i'm like keeping it really light because like i said i'm kind of breaking out just keels classic cult cult classic i want to start using lash boost again because in high school i'd always do lash i would do rodan and fields last last boost lash boost on my eyelashes every night and they were like super duper long i don't know if they shrunk since then or what but i want to start doing that again it would make my eyes red though people would be like are you wearing eyeliner 
in college, I mean in high school, I was like, no, I'm not wearing red eyeliner at seven in the morning, thank you. I don't know if people actually said that or if I just thought that in my head, but. Like if I had a true morning or and night routine, I would feel like I have more of a purpose in life because sometimes I'm like just floating through life and it's like, what are you doing? Just the spiciest mouthwash I ever did taste. I was showing off for you guys. Oh my God. So spicy. My dad said that that's the spiciest one and it's true. After I floss and mouthwash, sometimes I'm like, do I even need to brush? Cause I hate brushing my teeth. But I do it twice a day. Sometimes three, but like, I'm not really like a brusher before I go out just because I just told you I hate doing it. So why am I gonna do it extra? The answer is I'm not. Duh. Happy is the heart. That's it for this vlog. It was just one night in the life. That's all you get for now. I will see you in the next one though. I'm getting really excited because I think I'm gonna do Vlogmas this year and I wanna see if I could do it. So I'm trying to practice in the meantime, get as many vlogs up as possible and just get really comfortable being in front of the camera. That's my goal. All right, bye. If you like this, subscribe, comment. Tell me what videos you wanna see. If you have any videos that in your heart you're like really wanting me to make, let me know because I love making these. Bye. Love you.